Yes, yes, y'all know what it is, man. It's an Earn Ice Old Show. If you don't know now, you know we back at it, y'all. Uh, this is the official Tuesdays episode, you know what I'm saying? You know, how we record, we just go and we go. So, um, this is the second time I asked my man this question, but I'm going to ask it again because this will be the Tuesday episode. How was your week? How was your weekend? Everything was lovely, man. Can't complain. Once again, I can't complain. Thank y'all for the love and support we're getting, man. Um, it'd be amazing to me sometimes, man. It's amazing to me sometimes that just like for something that was like, I was just like, oh, all right, you know, I'll try it out. You know what I mean? I'll do a couple episodes and it turned into what it's turning into. It's like amazing to me, man. I appreciate it, man. But um, yeah, man, thank y'all. Thank y'all for support we're getting on Earn Niso. Thank y'all for support we get with the expansion team. Um. Very happy, I think. A couple more weeks. Ebony should be home like the end of this month. That's for sure. Like a couple more weeks or something like that. So, you know what I mean? She said she's looking forward to getting back to it. You know what I mean? I mean, she got to get back to her family first. You know what I mean? She is a mother first, but, you know, she said she want to get back into it, you know, you know, making more content and all that. So, that's what's up. I'm just glad that she's going to be around. No, oh, that's what's up. Most definitely. No doubt. You know what I'm saying? Uh, well, yeah, you know I mean, listen, man, the sign is up. We're going to get into what we meant to get into, you know what I'm saying, on the first episode, but you know, it'll be a Friday episode now, and now we're going to get into it, man, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the wellness check, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to let you do your thing, man. Um, Yeah, man, I just, I just, I just said wellness check, man, because we got, oh, there's just some things I want to, things I want to speak about, man. Um, First and foremost... Um, somebody has been has been charged with the killing of YBC Duel. Yeah. And to find out that um, young brother's only 16 years old. Yeah. But they said that he is accused of, like, a bunch of shootings and, like, a couple murders. Like, robberies and all that. Yeah. So... Which I understand how some, like I said, I understand how both sides feel. Some people are sad that Bobby C. Duel was going. Some people was like, "Listen, it, listen, it, it was what it was." Now I mean, they was out here doing stuff. Then you can't cry when something happens to him. So I understand. I understand both sides of it, but we are going to talk about it. Now I mean, he was. He was murdered, and now somebody's being accused of his murder. You know what I mean? So, but then I was listening to, I was listening to, like, when he described him. I'm like, first of all, you're 16, man. You, you're only 16 years old. Right. But, you know, he was, from what they say, they was running, he, I mean, he, he, had, he had his little crew. They was running around here being some terrorists. Yeah. Robbing, you know what I'm saying? Shooting, robbing, stealing cars, all that. So it's unfortunate that not just him, the people they running with and all that, the ages that they are, man, be throwing their life throwing their life away, man. Yeah, true. You're right about that. I mean, come on, man. Sixteen, you probably ain't gonna you probably gonna be in jail. <laughs> To the to the to the day you die, yeah. You're probably gonna end up being in jail to the day you die. Yeah, cause I think they charged him with double murder. Yeah, double because they said he he he. They accused him of putting in work. What was it? A month before that, something like that. For like the last few months, they say he's they's putting in work. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> putting in work. See, but that's how it is. Because remember when we talked about the um the movie Life. You know what I mean? Right. When the old head in the wheelchair, he spent his whole life in jail. He's in jail since he was 13. That's chances are that's how he gonna be. Yeah. He's gonna spend his he's gonna spend his whole he's gonna probably chances are he's gonna spend his entire life in jail. 
Yeah, that's kind of wild. Like I don't, I don't like the fact how we just cast, we just cast these young boys off, man, and just it is what it is because that's how they live. You know what I mean? Yeah, he 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 lived like that, so he get what came to him. You can't just, you don't know what a person's going through or what a re, the reality of a person is. You know what I'm saying? We all we all have this thinking that everybody thinks on the same level is on the same playing field as me. Some people don't got the same understanding in life as you that you have. You know what I'm saying? What when Michael Vick when Michael Vick got caught with the dogs and shit. The situation he said he thought that was normal because that's what he grew up seeing. Dog fighting to him was normal. They ain't see they ain't see nothing wrong in that shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So how can you, how can you, discredit a child and be like, yo, he deserved what he got, but you can't even drink until you turn 21 because you know what I'm saying they feel like it's a level of understanding that you gotta have. Come on, man. We can't we can't cast these kids off like that, man. For real, we can't. That's why the cycle going to continue. Cause we just gonna keep doing it. You know what I mean? We just gonna keep we gonna keep just the difference between and it's is is a bigger difference. So yeah, you know I mean, please the difference between them their lives and our lives. A lot of them got a camera in front of their face all day. If it's an iPhone or whatever, iPhone, Android, Android, and you put that shit on social media. So we get to watch this shit and dictate, man, that's stupid shit. We did stupid shit too. We just didn't have a camera in front of our face all goddamn time. That's true. You know what I'm saying? We did dumb shit all the time. That shit just wasn't recorded. But because we can see their shit, we like, that's dumb shit. These kids out here nowadays is dumb. They stupid. Everybody did stupid shit. Yeah, trust me. We grew up with a lot of stupid ass people that did dumb shit, and Hell they yeah. are because they are dead or in jail. Right. Did a bunch of dumb shit. There's people that been. We we in our forties. I know. I know people that been. They've been gone. They've been right. gone since we was in our twenties. They've been in jail since we was in our twenties. Know what I mean? There's some people I know that already got twenty years in already in jail already. Right. You know what I'm saying, man, it should, it's, you know what I mean? it's, it's so, gonna be this how it's gonna be, man. So, I mean, from what I was, the, from what the, the, the information I was like looking up, it was something about it. Can't, it happened from this shooting happened from dual dissing somebody that I guess he was friends with or close to. Uh huh. From 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 the content that I was watching, because you know they. You know, they break down with stuff you say in the songs and they try to figure out, find out who this person was or who that person was. And for my for my understanding, I mean, y'all can let me know if I'm wrong. I'm the young, younger generation. They, 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 they more in tune with it than I am. That this happened from, this was in retaliation to a duel. This and I guess a friend of his or somebody that died. Right. So I'm guessing this is this is retaliation from that, but we gotta we got I don't know we gotta figure out something, man. Because like I said, you 16, dude. These young dudes is they ain't even out of high school, dog. They was running around terrorizing shit, man. Right. Right. So. We gotta figure out how to get through to him. Yeah, but you think it just gotta be authentic, man? Cause we, I mean, even when you hear the fucking news joints and y'all talking about shit, y'all don't know nothing about. They don't. They, no, I mean, they just doing. They just doing their job, doing the best they can. They they are out of touch. They out. Of, they way out of touch. They don't understand it. Right. Way out of touch. They don't understand it. It's just they don't understand young the generation. Black man with guns. Yeah, because you trying to think about it. We are black men and we halfway don't understand why they do True. the stuff they do because we didn't grow up in the same era as them. True. So you can imagine what the white people, how, how out of touch the white people yeah. are. He did it for clout. No, you don't know nothing about these kids. These kids can care less about some clout shit. So, we got to figure out how to get through to some of them. Yeah. We got to get through. I, I mean, I mean, we do get, we, 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 we got to try to get through to more of them. I don't know. We just got to communicate better. 
the line of communication is not is severed. There is no line of communication. They look at us as the old motherfuckers. We look at them as the young motherfuckers. And that's where it is. Nobody talking to nobody to even try to understand what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Now, rightfully so. There's some young motherfuckers that some of these old motherfuckers are scared to even talk to. Mm -hmm. You scared to even have a conversation with them, man. You know what I mean? Look, I let them young motherfuckers do what they got to do. I get out there wet. Somebody got somebody to have a conversation with them. We got to figure out what's going on. And the fact that we don't have the conversations, we'll never know. Everybody's assuming, coming up with shit in their head. This is why they don't. This We don't know. You got to have a conversation. Somebody got to sit down with them. You know what I mean? And just, under, no, we got to figure this shit out. Both sides. We got to figure this shit out. And the respect got to be there on, they end to understand that we have a little bit of knowledge to understand what you're going through. Don't look at us like, Man, you don't know what I'm going through, OG. I'm on, uh, you don't even know, you know what I mean? Times is different. The respect yeah, gotta be on both sides. Yeah, times is different, but it, it's 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 the same, it's the same problem. So that's what I be saying when people like, you don't understand. I ain't know I don't understand. Like I ain't go through the stages. I'm older. I, I, I didn't I didn't go through nothing. Right. Think I didn't go through nothing? Think we ain't making the same way you going standing out here in the block make had to make the same decisions that y'all gotta make now. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Shit right now is too goddamn. It's too, it all, man, this, this is Philly. It's always been issues. It always been, it's always been gunplay. True. It's always been people getting murdered. We ain't gonna act like this is something new. But the reasons for it and how easy it is, it's like it's getting easier and easier and easier as time go on. To just kill somebody, it's like barely, it's like barely a reason to. And they're getting younger and younger. You know what I'm saying? And and it's like it it, it be it don't it to me it don't like it's just no good reason. Half, half the stuff that you find out the reason for is like yo that wasn't even to me that wasn't even worth killing somebody over. That's why we got to have a conversation. Ease. We got to yeah man we got to kind of. Gotta try to figure something out, man. Gotta try to figure something out. We gotta talk to them. Hopefully they listen. Like I said, man, some of y'all that I know that some of y'all might wanna spread y'all knowledge, y'all wisdom, share y'all knowledge and wisdom to them, but y'all feel like they not gonna respect or even care to listen, so you feel like you might be wasting your time. But man, to y'all young brothers, man, please do not throw your life away, man, before it even start. Some of y'all ain't lived off 16 years old. You ain't you ain't did nothing in life yet, man. You ain't did nothing in life. That we're gonna man, they gonna they gonna throw him under the jail, man. He gonna be in jail to the day he die. He only sixteen. He he gonna be in jail to the day he die. Let me ask you this question. All right, because I asked somebody that actually is in this shit, and I I, I wouldn't ask you this question before, but I didn't want to be disrespectful. You let me know. I might take this shit out the episode or not. What's the difference between a child that's raised in the inner city and the streets molds him into becoming like, you know I mean, these, these situational killers to a person that goes to the military and they do the same thing? I actually asked somebody that was in there. I asked somebody that was in the military. What's the difference? Because the person who was in there, like, yeah, I was over there fighting. I didn't know why I was fighting. Because they told you to. Um, because... That's to this country's benefit. Yeah, but it's, you come it's, it's home, you the hero. No, no, it's it's no, and, and 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 he's the hero amongst his friends. Right, right, right. He's that dude to his friends. He that nigga to his friends. Right. He that nigga to the people in the neighborhood that value that. Right. You know what I mean? He the man. He a terrorist. He's scared. Yo, that little nigga right there. He a terrorist. Yo. Right. People, people saying it like it's a good thing. People, you say stuff like that from the hood. I, I know people that say that that would like when somebody younger than them was just like how they are. He ain't scared to bust his gun. That little nigga a terrorist, yo. Okay, but you just came home from doing like fifteen years though, right? Right. So you already see he on his way to the penitentiary or to the to the to the graveyard. 
So how many times did you get shot? How many times did you don't think you was about to die? Somebody's about to kill your ass? Right. How many how, how many years you done spent in jail? So why would you say that like that's a good thing? No, you should be trying to talk him out of that shit so he don't live the same life as you. But that's that most that's the bullshit that some people value. Right. Some people yeah. value that. Some people value being a nigga that's quick to pull the trigger. Oh, he ain't, he ain't, he ain't scared of that. Little, little nigga ain't scared to bust his gun. He shoot somebody quick. Like, that's a good thing. That's because sometimes, though, that respect level or that is easily attainable. Like, you can vision. You can see it. Yeah. But then if you're like, yo, let's do this real estate shit, you can't see it. So you don't even try to put the work in because you don't feel like that's not easily attainable. Because I can kill a motherfucker and I'm gonna get this respect. Yeah, because when I leave outside my house, that's what I see. That, the, the, those are the people that I see get respect. Right. Those are the people that I see with money. Dudes that's out here hustling, selling drugs. People that's out here that's busting their gun. Right. This that that is my environment. That's my immediate surroundings. You know what right. I mean? The, the real estate investor is not the person I, I I see when I walk down the street. I see the drug dealer on the corner. I don't see the real estate investor on the corner. Even though you might walk past, you might, you might, the person might walk past a corner store or a dry cleaners, and that's a person with a business. Right. That's a person that has other businesses. That's a person that might invest in real estate. But that's not looked at as the flashy thing that right now, you know what I mean? That like that, for one, that takes time to build. And two, that 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 doesn't. That's not as like, it's Glamorous. not as exciting. Yeah, it's not, it's not as the dude that pull up in a Mercedes Benz and come out and hang out because everybody on this block worked for him. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's what I see right now. Right now. He right here, right now in front of my face. Not the person that I see online that's telling me I can make money getting into real estate. I don't see that person every day. Bro. I see the boy that run this block pull up every day. He got the car I want. He got the clothes I want. Every time I see him, he got a bad chick with him. Yeah. He has what I want right here in front of my face. You know what I mean? Or if I go get this gun, I will get what I want with this gun. We go rob somebody right now and make money. Not me have to go to work and and it takes me two weeks to get paid, and when I'm gonna get paid, is I feel like it's not it's not a lot of money. So we're gonna do what we gotta do now to get what I want right now. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you always gonna have people, unfortunately, you always gonna have people that just that just that just decide that they are going to live. Some people just decide that they're gonna live a life of crime, ain't nothing nobody can do. It don't matter what type of parents you got, no nothing. Right. People, some people just gonna make that decision that that's what I'm gonna do. Like I said, I go back once again to the BMF show. When BMF, I mean, when um, when Meech's father was talking to his mother, to his to his mother, and he said, "Can Meech be saved?" He asked her this: "Can he be saved?" Meaning that if it's if he are. Do you feel like, because at the end of the day, you are his mother. That's his father, but he asking his mother. You the one carried him and pushed him out and gave birth to him. So you more connected to him than anybody. Do you do you feel like he can be saved? Like, is any talking to him or he just got, or is it he just has his mind made up that he just going to be a street nigga? That's what he going to do. Right. Because if that's how, you, if, if you feel like it ain't no saving him, it's no point in me trying. Right. You know what I mean? So it's so fortunate that some people, just like some people I grew up, we grew up with, dude, they they decided at a young age that's what they was gonna do in life. It don't, it don't matter how good their parents was, it don't matter how good they their grandmother was. So some people just decided that that's what they was gonna do. And it's very unfortunate, but that's that's the choice some people make when they young as hell that they already made that choice that that's what I'm gonna be. This nigga that's out here on this corner right now, that's what I'm gonna do. That nigga that's running around here robbing people, or he shot, or everybody saying that he shot such and such person, that he do this, so he does, he quick to bust his gun. That's who I'm going to be. I grew up, grew up with people like that. They could not wait to get a gun. Right. 
They couldn't wait till they get their first gun. When I turned, thing, yo, when I turned, said, 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 said they gonna give me my first gun, yo, 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 I, yo, yo, I can't, I can't, I can't wait to bust that shit, yo. Ain't anybody say anything, dog? I ain't, I ain't scared of nobody. Couldn't, couldn't wait to get a gun so they can shoot somebody. You know what I mean? It was like that when we was kids. So our little kids. People, listen, I'm telling you, wait till I, man, he told me I had to wait till I'm such and such years old, or 13, or wait till I'm 12, 13 years old, and I can start working for him. I'm telling you, I'm going to run this shit right here. This is going to be my corner right here. Little kids already had it in their head that that's what I'm, I'm going to do with my life. You know what I mean? And it's sad that that is... Some people are a product of their environment. That's what they see, and they and they make their choice. It don't it don't matter what's going on inside inside their house, right? It don't matter how good good their parents are to them. No matter how many how much people talk to them, some people just they are just that's what I'm going to do, and that's that. That's that. It don't matter how it don't it don't matter how great of a father I got. You know what I mean? Parents, nothing. You can right. talk. You talk to some people today, blue in the face. They gonna go out there and do what they want to do. Trust me, I have tried. There's some kids I have talked to till I was blue in the face, and they still went out there. Mm. And some of them have they've made their bed, and now some of them have to lay in it. But they did not understand the consequences. I heard Oskino say this earlier today. I was watching it live. You know what I mean? For y'all. I mean, go check that out. You know what I mean? He dropping a lot of knowledge about the youth on, on that one with um, my man, um, is it CEO Nafis? Yeah. 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 Them two was CEO on the live. Nafis, yeah. Right. Right. Them two was on the live. And he was saying that, yeah, they, they, doing, they running around doing it because for one, when you're that age, the most important people in your life are your friends. You know what I'm saying? They 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 more influence you, influence you to you than your parents are at that age. True. And then you so young that you don't understand you don't understand the gravity of what you're doing. You don't understand the gravity of the consequences. Like you said, you got people that you gonna get life. You get twenty years, bro. You ain't even lived twenty years yet. You don't even know what twenty years is because you ain't even lived. You ain't even twenty. You ain't even twenty years. Twenty years old yet. It's like think about when we was that age. You know what I'm saying? When you was in high school, you was only 16 years old. Now think about the last 16 years of your life. That whole si that last 16 years was his whole life. Right. That last 16 years that I lived was his whole life up until this point. Has it been his whole life? So they don't understand the gravity of this shit. No, when you go to jail, no, you're gonna be in there forever. Yeah. He's going to be in jail to the day he dies. They're never letting him go. Life is over before it started. Yeah, you right. It so, is. Yeah, so... Like I said, to some people, I understand that it's hard because a lot of them don't have no respect for nobody. And they don't care nobody's opinion because they feel like no nobody care about them. Right. But for some of y'all, if it's in y'all heart to try, just try, just just try to get through to some of them. Like I said, if it don't happen, you gotta be able to just go into life and know that you tried. Right. I mean, even though you don't like to see it, because a lot of them is not even getting a full life, bro. You never gonna. You 16 years old, man. You got your whole life ahead of you. You see how, like, like you told in the episode about, you see how Coach Prime and his kids is, are? Right. Bro, how, you ain't going to have that. You sitting in jail for your, the rest of your life. Nope. Not going to have it. Are you in the early grave? grave? Right. Right. You're not going to be able to have a full life to where it's, I had my career, and now I'm still doing my thing without something that I, I'm part of something that I love to do. And, and I see my children grow up, and then we all in a, they on the family, they all as a family unit together, right? Moving through life like that. You see what Coach Prime life is? 
How you going to have a life like that? And for one, you ain't even lived long enough to have kids. And two, you're going to be in jail the rest of your damn life. True. Over something that don't make... And I bet you if you get down to the bottom of a lot of these killings, it's over something that wasn't even worth killing somebody over. True. I guarantee you. True. Most of them killings is probably over something that wasn't even worth killing nobody over. You know what I mean? Right. And then, since we on it, you know what I mean? Me, me looking at that just, just remind me of something else I want to talk about. The guy that did the interview with YBC Duel, that came to, to Philly and did it, you know what I mean, did and, and did the interview and all that, and did all that. There's some people that are online, like, kind of, like, upset with him, feeling like he he's, like, mocking, like, the, the drill music and all that when he did like a video and music video and all that. Yeah. Then like, you know what I mean? Uh Brandon Buckingham, right? Yeah. yeah. So I understand where people are coming from with that. But whether he whether he did that or not, that's been it been, been going on. <laughs> you know what I mean? It been going on. Yes, it People been coming around and, you know, having fun with what's going on with us, but then not having to suffer none of the consequences. That yeah, that, the, that, the that whole, that's nothing new. The whole thing is that though. The whole the whole thing is some type of exploitation. Cause who brag about illegal activities like that? That's that the they whole thing that. is. It's a it's a it's a part of the culture that only the young generation understand. Older yeah. generation don't get it. That 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 was a no, that was a no go. Like I said, back when we was younger, and you know my my friends rapped and all that it used to be. That was a no go. If you said anything remotely, that people might think could put two and two together about something that really happened, right? They told you, dog, you can't say that. They tell the engineer, you'll erase that. You'll erase this. He got to do his whole verse over again. Erase his whole verse. You know what I mean? Yo, come out the booth and rewrite that, Jonah. Think about something else to say. Right. Your engineer erased that. Right. That's what I'm saying. So how, how as the culture can we get mad because we feel as though they exploiting us when the whole thing is exploitation? You speaking on things that shouldn't be spoken on. You speaking about people who got possibly kids, moms, sisters, brothers. You know what I'm saying? You speaking on all that type of shit. So we mad because somebody else came and and shed light on it from from another angle. Motherfuckers just trying to make a profit off of this. You trying to make a profit off of it, talking about somebody that that could be a loved one of mine that got murdered. You got a song. I mean, you you trying to make a profit off of this shit. Come on, now we mad at him? We always direct our energy the wrong way. The, these young boys need to, this shit need to, it need to cease to exist. Mm-hmm. Y'all too talented for this to be the only genre of music that you can do. For real, you too talented for me to, for me to say, this is all I can do is talk about other motherfuckers. No, man, stop it. Because in reality, how far can you perform that shit? What type of venue is really going to let you in? It's certain spots you probably get into, but I mean them big are- arenas and shit. You gonna perform that at, at the link? You gonna perform that at the halftime show, the Super Bowl? So come on now, like, how how far are you trying to take it? If you really serious, and, and the thing about it, they really be, when you listen to interviews and them, yeah, I'm serious about my craft. How serious are you? Because how far you think that's gonna go? You know what I'm saying? You can't be that serious to say that you're serious about it. But this is what I do. This is the music I make. I want the world to accept it because I'm gonna be the I'm gonna be the best at this. But this is the music I do. For one, there's only a couple of motherfuckers that can relate to that. There's only a couple people that understand. Mm-hmm. So come on now, man. Like is we we better than that? That's not the only line of music that we can do. You know what I mean? That and, and as you can see, Dirk Dirk and them they had to change up the style. They didn't continue on that type of style. You know what I'm saying? I gotta change this shit up if I really if I really want to get to some real a real type of level performing in these arenas like drinking them. 
I can't perform this shit with Drake and them. I can't. You know what I mean? They ain't going to let me in certain spots I'm doing this song. Come on, man. So, yeah, if you if you serious about your craft, man, then you have to change it up. Yeah, but, yeah, and then, like I said, street stuff has always been going on. True. It's going to continue to go on. But it's like, to me, it's like, Like some Charles say, it just it got fiercer. It got like, it like like leveled up, and and I and I feel like it's not warranted. I feel like it's just shooting and killing for the sake of shooting and killing. Right now, some of that stuff, some of that street stuff, you feel like well, it's all violence and all that. No, some some people, some 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 of them people, that the, the road is round for a reason. What goes around comes around. Some of these people done did something to somebody, and something got done to them. Right. You know what I mean? That's what it that's what it was, unfortunately. Some things. That's what it was. But like I'm saying, I want to get the 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 trend of, yo, let me just go grab a gun and just start doing, just start doing whatever and thinking that's the way. No, you're gonna throw your life away. Some of y'all are not even in no, not even in no type of circumstances that y'all gotta really do that. Right. I don't want some of y'all throw y'all life away. Y'all think that's just a thing to do right now. You know what I mean? I'm just I'm just gonna get a gun and nah, man. Nah, go live your life. Nah, I mean like I said, the world is bigger than the hood. The world is bigger than the neighborhood. The three or four blocks your ass grew up on. We got to get out of that mentality, man. Right. Got to get out of the hood mentality. That goddamn little three or four blocks being your whole damn world. No, the whole world is out here, man. The whole world is out here. Right. The world is bigger than, oh, we went from here to here. This is our turn. Get off that shit, man. Get off that shit. We beefing with them from over there, from somebody from five blocks away. Get off that shit, man. Y'all not even, man, y'all not even gonna live long enough to enjoy life, man. Some of, like I said, some of y'all got bodies. Some of y'all probably still virgins. They ain't even took a girl out on a date. I mean, y'all ain't even out of high school yet. Young boy going from high school to the penitentiary, man. He gonna get treated as an adult. Trust me. They gonna throw. They gonna make an example out of him, man. They're gonna make some, they they are going to make an example out of him. Have his parents came out and said anything? I ain't seen nothing about no, his parents or not nothing. As yet. His mom, his dad, his grandma, nothing. I don't know who. Are they are they just staying? I don't know if they just want to stay out of it or just stay out of the, you know, stay off of cameras and, and not talk to talk to the news. I mean, I I, I can I can imagine they might want to, and then at the same time, bro. Now that you up in, now that you're gonna be in a joint, you don't think that nobody care about him that's out there, was gonna be out to get you? Yo, gotta keep it real. He might not live long. Yeah. Cause who know who, you know what I'm saying? Knows who friends with him. Right. What was, what was, 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 might be related to him, might be related to the duel. Who knows? Right. So now you gotta worry about that. You gotta worry about the get back. People gotta worry about the get back now. You might not just say, oh, well, I'm just going to be in the penitentiary so I die. You don't know who up in that penitentiary. You don't know who he is related to, right. who he's friends with, right. who might be friends with people in his family and they're connected to them. You don't know. So, so now you're going to mess around being that, in that controlled environment where you're seeing the same people every day and you don't know who out to get you. Right. Like Beanie Siegel say, yo, pay back some motherfucker. He ain't going to blow it. You know what I mean? You locked up with somebody who's related or friends with somebody you did something to, and he ain't gonna come up to you and say nothing. No, nope. you're not even gonna know. Cause that's what happens. Yeah, that is what happens, man. Everybody know that's been locked up. People, my favorite, but will we'll tell you that real quick. A person would don't don't even know why they did such such just did that to somebody else. Then you find out after, oh, what was in here because he shot his nephew mm. or he shot his cousin or that was, 
or a young boy shot his best friend's old oh, oh, his best friend's son. He don't know it though. He don't know. You know what I'm saying you don't you don't know who's who when you go up in there. So ain't nobody winning them in these situations, man. My whole thing is like 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 I said, we we got we got a real conversation that it's it's some people that they was just that's what they gonna do. It's, it's nothing. It's nothing you can do about it. Some people already got in their head that this. I'm gonna be out. I'm gonna go out in the street. I'm gonna go out in that damn street. And can't nobody say that. It don't matter how good my family is. Don't matter how good my parents was to me. It don't matter. It don't matter how many how, how many times my people try to talk some sense into me. Some people just gonna be gone from the time before the second they get there. They already gone. Yeah. You ain't you you never had them. You never. You never had them. Right. It's not like you lost them. You never had them. They made that decision. These kids that been in their head. This is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. I'm not getting no job. I don't give a damn about school. That's what I'm going to do. And it's some. There's nothing that some of y'all can do about it. And I'm sorry to some of y'all parents. I'm sorry to some of y'all grandparents, y'all grandmothers, y'all grandfathers, y'all fathers, especially y'all mothers, because y'all the ones that walked around with them. You know what I mean? Pregnant with them and then gave birth to them. Mm. And, and you care about them and they just don't. They just got it in their head that this is what I'm going to do. It don't matter. This is what I'm going to do. Can't nobody stop me. And some of them, that is, unfortunately, that is the destiny that they laid out for themselves. Right. They're going to be dead or in jail. And can't nobody tell them nothing. But it is to me, it is some people out there that you might be able to talk to and get through to. Yeah. Right. You might be able to talk to them and get through to some of them. You know what I mean? So shout out to all the all the all all, all the people out there that actually care about the kids, kids that's not even theirs, people in the community. You know what I mean? The people that um run these sports. You know what I'm saying? Football, basketball, the, the different sports. Try to be father figures to these young men. Trying to keep them out of trouble. You know what I mean? People that are like the backbone of the community. People who are the father figures. Right. And even some of y'all moms too who 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 treat other people's kids like you and their mom. You care about them. Like they your kids. Cause of, cause, because the reasons I be hearing why some of these why some of these shootings be happening, I'm like, yo, that wasn't even worth it. To us it wasn't. I mean, at the end of the day, it wasn't. They they think that it is, but when you really when you really find out some of this stuff, you're like, yo, that's not. They just don't understand that it's not. They think that that is. Yeah. That's not no situation where it was kill or be killed. Some some of them. I'm not talking about this one, but some I of them. When I hear mean. about it, when I hear about, it, I'm like, yo, that was not even worth that. It's hard to but tell. But you them couldn't that, tell them that. You the can't moment. tell them that because they because they think that it is. Yeah. But by the time they realize that you they they they've been in jail since they was. They 40 and they've been in jail since they was 20. Yeah. Thinking about, damn, I did I really have to kill that person? No. Let's go talk to some of them people in them jails. That's what they need to do. They need they 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 need they need to do more of that scary straight shit. Right. They need to start busting these young dudes in them prisons and letting them brothers in them prisons talk to them. And see, this is where this is this is where y'all can end up for y'all whole life. So I guarantee you there's a lot of men in there that's sitting there and they think about that shit every day. Yeah, they regret it. That they what I did, you know what I mean? That was that was not even needed. So I guarantee you there's a bunch of people in there that killed motherfuckers that y'all could have probably settled y'all issue just having just putting your hands up and fighting over it. Right. You could have probably just walked away after. Win or lose is done and it's over with. Right. You're right. So, like I said, I understand both sides of it. It's people that's that's sad that YBC dude was gone. It's so it's people that's it's people out here that's happy that he's gone. Right. Just like you be online, you be hearing about because one of my because one of my um younger rappers that that I that I kind of took to that I actually liked their music was King Von. 
And then you look online, there's people that's sad that he's gone, and there's people that's happy that he's gone. Right. So, it's like, like I said, it's always going to be street shit going on. I mean, it's, it's, it's never going to stop, but I feel like I feel like some of these kids can be saved. I know every, some people can't because it's people that, like I said, it's people that I grew up with that they dead and gone already or they been in jail, but that's, they, 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 are, they, are, they, are, they, are, they already plant their own destiny. They already, could nobody tell them nothing. Could nobody tell them, could nobody tell them nothing. I'm going out there in that street. Can't wait to get a gun. Can't wait to sell drugs. Can't nobody tell me nothing. Right. And that's unfortunate, but I feel like it is some kids that if somebody can get through to them, it could change their life before they go do something stupid and throw their life away like this young brother did. Yeah, right. Because, come on, 16, the stuff they was doing... You know what I mean? All right, killing each other. They ain't you still in high school, man. They ain't killing they killing each other, man. 15, 16 years old. Got bodies already. Why are you still in your mother, or your grandmother's house? You got bodies though already. Yeah, that's crazy, man. You got niggas that got bodies that probably you know what I mean? You got niggas that got bodies that probably still got a damn curfew. You talking about a curfew? They, On never, the had a they never had a childhood. Man, no, some of them did though. Did some of them just made the choice? I mean, some some of them had it messed up, but some of them just just uh, like listen, I grew up people like that. Some people just they just decide that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, Childhood not bad. I just I just what I'm gonna do. Sixteen is 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 crazy to think that that's what you've been doing, and you already had attempts on trying to. I mean, you you've been busting your gun at sixteen. You already been doing it. No no second thoughts about it. This is what I do. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I ain't, I ain't had to work up the nerve to become a grown man to do this. No, I'm, I'm doing this now. Listen, man, some people got it. And then, <coughs> so listen, it's, it's just some, some people just some people just have a knack for it. They just not afraid of it. I mean, they just not afraid of it. Some people just got a knack for it. Those are the people that. That they be wanting, I mean, that they that they be wanting in the military and all that. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm, some of these motherfuckers probably don't know how to ride a bike. Don't, know what I mean? You know what I mean, in well, the hood, you know, yeah. Some, some, listen, they got bodies and some of them don't even know how to swim. Oh yeah, don't know how to swim. That shit crazy, man. You know what I mean, uh, it's just wild, man. Two two lives is lost now because of this. No, a lot of lives. He said that. <laughs> One of the joints he accused of is he did it the same way. He ran up on the car and started shooting into the car and shot like a bunch of young boys in the car. One of them died. So the way, so the way, so the same thing he accused of, same way he accused of killing YBC Duel, he did that to a, a, a bunch of other people and they were sitting in the car. Yeah, man, that's wild. So. It is wild, man, because I got kids now. Yeah, you because that change that changes you, that that changes your perspective on life, where it's just not you worried about you now. Right. Your you know kids I mean? got to go outside, and they knowing that people are killing each other over stuff that you don't even understand. Right. Like some of that stuff, when I grow up with, I'm not saying it's right, but I get it. If you go put a gun in somebody's face and rob and, and rob them and rob some goddamn drug dealer. He got to get you back or nobody's going to respect him and everybody's going to start robbing him. So some of the people that I knew, something that happened to them, they got killed or they got shot or whatever, I understood why it happened. I at least understood that. You know what I mean? A lot of them bought that on themselves. They made, they made that bed they had to lay in it. But this, I don't, I don't, fully, under, I don't, I don't fully understand this. I don't fully understand the... I got a, I got ops. Who is you to have ops? Who 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 is some of y'all to have ops? 
Some of y'all not even operating on no level to even have no ops. Right. Y'all not out here. Y'all, y'all ain't not, y'all in the streets hustling and doing something. Y'all just running around with guns. Right. Pocket empty but got a gun. Some of y'all ain't even operating on no level to even have ops. Got ops for the sake of ops. Not, I'm out in the street getting money, and you know, now we got problems with different people. That's why we got ops. Right. Like Avon and Stringer, okay, our op is now Marlo. Because it's like he's taking over our territory, he's making money. Some of y'all ain't got no territory, no, no nothing. Y'all just run around with guns, begging to have an issue with somebody, thinking that's cool. No. Some of y'all are going to lay in that bed that y'all making right now. Yeah. So, some, and this, and then, and some of y'all are going to be laying in the bed that somebody got to make for you because y'all going to be vegetables and somebody blow your head off but you don't die. You got brain damage. So remember, there's some things in life that's worse than death. Yeah. Everybody's just thinking, okay, well, it is what it is. If it's my turn to go, no, who says you're going to go? Your ass might get put shot and get put in a wheelchair for the rest of your damn life. You might get shot and got to lay in a bed for the rest of your life, but still be alive. There's some things in life that's worse than death. Yeah, right. Yeah, you're right about that. That's what y'all are not thinking about. People just thinking about, well, it's my turn to go. It's my turn to go. Who says you if you go, you going to die if you get shot? You can very well still be alive. Sitting around wishing that your ass was dead. Right. Right. Because you might be thinking, damn, I'm out. I'd rather be dead than got to go through all this every day. Stuck in this wheelchair, can't move, or paralyzed from the neck down. Anything, anything can happen. Yeah, true. Or you got to walk around with a goddamn shit bag, a damn colostomy bag on for the rest of your damn life. Stuff like that. All them, all them motherfuckers that get shot. That shit messed up the blood flow to they pipe, and now they fucking dick don't work. Oh, yeah. Shit like that. That be happening to people. Because my mother was a nurse. People getting popped, people getting popped the fuck up. Yeah. And they got to deal with that type of shit for the rest of their life. Yeah, you right, man. What the young boy ass? What the hell he do? Who knows, man? Probably deserved it, though. <laughs> probably do. Yeah, you know I'm saying. Probably set him straight. Yeah, probably deserved it, man. You know what I mean? On, the, on, on another note, though, man, you know what I'm saying? You know, rest in peace, rich homie Quan. You know what I'm saying? Uh, um, is that a grown man they did that too? Yeah, he looked like it. He, he definitely deserved that then. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, Rich Homie Kwan, right. man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we always talk about the content and everything like this. Now everything becomes content. You know what I'm saying? And some things are distasteful. Uh, TMZ reaching out to get the phone call from his girlfriend when she called and then releasing, then releasing the phone call. You know what I'm saying? It was kind of distasteful, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh... Young, very young, you know what I'm saying? Very young, you know what I mean? Talented artist. You know what I'm saying? Last five years, we lost a lot of a lot of hip hop royalty last five years, man. So rest in peace, Rich Homie Quad, man. You you say you wanna say something about that too? Yeah, man. Um the reports are coming out, but you know, I don't know anything hundred percent yet. And I mean myself, I had not read me, so this is hundred percent what happened to him, but it's unfortunate that he is the young man is gone. Right. You know what I mean? Condolences to his family. Right, right. And um, some people are speculating is you know I mean he had an addiction and that's what happened. It was a overdose or something like that. I don't hundred percent know all that, but you know what I mean. At the end of the day, the young black man is gone. Yes. So he's not here to be. You know, I think he was a father. He had kids, yep. right? Oh yeah, yeah. And yep. all that. So black father is gone. Another black man, a black son is gone. Somebody that could have been a benefit to this community. Uh, is now gone, man. And that's very, very, very unfortunate. Yeah. 
Very, very, very unfortunate. I understand that this is life, and one day everybody number gonna get called. But to me, it just, it kind of just, it just, it just, it just, it just feels weird what's been going on. You know what I mean? Probably this whole year, like the, like the people who just been passing away and stuff like that. Like I said, people, some people just gonna be like, that's life. Everybody gonna number gonna get called one day. People gonna pass away, but it just, it, it just, it just feels unnatural to me the way things is happening right now. It does. It really does. You know what I mean? Because I can't chalk everything up to just, it's just what it is. It's life. People going to go. Uh, It's life. It's street stuff. People shoot, people shoot other people. Then the people get shot. And that person get killed. You kill somebody, somebody, that person that loved them, kill you. That's what, how it happened in the street. I get that. But at the same time, it just feels like, it just don't feel normal to me right now. It just don't. As crazy as that sound. I hope I, I, hope I make sense when I say that. It just, it, just, it, just, it, just, it just doesn't feel normal to me right now. Yeah, I feel you. It just doesn't. Yeah. And, um... But it shouldn't, though. You know what I mean? It shouldn't. And I think that we get to the point where... Excuse me. <coughs> where... Where it start... If it start to feel normal, then there's something wrong with that. You know what I mean? We shouldn't start to feel normal by just the loss of life. Like, just moving on. Like, and just keep going on. Because that's how it is. Like, certain... By us growing up in Philly, certain, certain events will happen... You will feel that for a couple of days. Then you forget about it and go right back to normal. Whatever you was doing, you go right back to it. You know what I'm saying? A shooting might happen. You're like, damn, that's crazy. Oh, my God. You worry about it for a couple of days, and after that, you feel all about it. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, I think yeah, that that's, yeah, life, not, that's yeah. not normal. Yeah, yeah, life goes on. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, you start people start getting desensitized to yeah, it. Yeah, that's not and just, it. And, yeah, and, 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 and it just... And it just trains you that, that 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 just be the norm, right? You be hearing about crazy stuff like, all right, shoot out at the bus depot, shoot out at the bus depot. Yeah. yeah. Where everybody standing around waiting for the bus. Yeah. I right, ran up on the bus, chased somebody up on the bus, and shot him on the bus. Shot it on the bus. Yeah. Yeah, these young boys is crazy, man. These young boys terrorists out here, yo. But I give it to him, young. Give it to him, man. Young boy ain't afraid to bust his gun. Okay. What the fuck are you talking about? Right. They gonna throw him under the jail for that. Yeah. And then really what he killed that little boy for was that, when you find out, you be like, yo, that was worth killing him over? Not at all. Is that really worth killing him over? Oh. Or was that something that y'all could have probably went toe to toe and just rumbled over and hadn't been done and over with? But even with that, if I rumble, I ain't trying to take no loss, so I'm gonna come back and shoot you if I lose. Right. I just can't take the loss. Cause you be hearing the backstory on some of the stuff that's happening, like yo, that was not even worth shooting nobody or killing nobody over. It's not. Young boy, you gonna you, they gonna throw you under the jail for that? Man, these young boys are super emotional. They are. No time, no, no, no voice of reason, no, no deductive reasoning, no time to just sit down and let things hash out or simmer down. No, they emotional. Some don't go the way that they thought, or somebody say something that they don't like what they said. I gotta react. I'm gonna right. react in the harshest way possible. Right. So and such says something about you on Instagram. Put the post up. Right. So that's you. You about to go around there right now. Right now. I'm going to shoot his house up. I ain't like that shit. What? And then you know what? Such and such like that shit too. Oh, they think I'm, oh, they think I'm sweet. Right. Okay. I'm about to go around there right now. And then yeah. this is Philly. When now, I understand I'm a little older. I might not be out of touch. When did that, you going to run up on the porch and just shoot through the window shit start? Or were they always doing that? I don't remember nobody doing that when I was younger. I don't remember that. Where, where did that... Where did that shit come from? Where did the shooting up somebody's house? We gonna run up the step, run up on somebody's porch, run up to somebody's window, just shoot and out and don't know who in there or what. Where did that shit happen? Start going on. Where we get that shit from? Not caring who somebody with. Not even caring. Let me just run up in front of. Let me let, 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 let me just run to the window and just start shooting through the window. 
Don't know who all in there. Hit everybody except the person you're trying to get. You don't hit the grandmother. You don't hit. You don't. You don't, you don't hit a little kid. You don't hit everybody except the motherfucker you're trying to get. So now the motherfucker you're trying to get really out here trying to get your ass. Right. Cause I'm hearing about that shit now. I'm like, yo, I never. To my knowledge, I never knew nobody that that was out here busting. The people that I did know that out here busting their gun, do nothing like that. You gonna find out where he live. You gonna just run up on the porch and just shoot through the window and then run off. What the fuck? You start doing. People start doing that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You already got the shit. I'm telling you. Cause, Cause now you already got the ambush shit going on, whereas that's why everybody say, yo, don't just be sitting in the car. Cause now that's the new shit. You went to somebody sitting in the car. Right. You just run up and just shoot the car up. That's why so many people you, you see getting shot, they be in a car. Right. That's the new shit. That's what's been going on the last few years. That's why you see, damn, I'm kicking the damn camera and everything. Yeah, that's why you see that. You know what I'm saying? That's why you be seeing on the news. And then one thing about it, the goddamn, see, that's why I don't even like watching the news. You watch the news for five minutes and that can depress you and mess my whole day up. The news is depressing. That's why I stopped watching the news. That shit that is depressing to me. Sometimes life is like that. I, I, I don't. I, don't I, I mean, not I, our life. I'm just saying life in general. I'm just saying. But just, you know what I mean? That's why I don't know how some people can watch that every day faithfully. Just watch the news. The news is depressing to me. That's why I, I don't. I don't really watch the news. Today is the first day I watched the news in probably years. That's all right. Like that's, watch the news. That's, just, like our, that's like our mom and dad generation. Exactly. Well, my thing is, you just. That's not depressing to y'all. Just always want to stay you informed. Want to tell you, yeah, informed on the most de- with depressing stuff that happened. I don't know. Like, mom, I don't want. I, I even to tell my mom, like, I don't want to hear that, mom. Maybe that shit is different. It, 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 it's different to them. You know what I'm saying? Because oh my, my mom, God. my mom still be tapped in news. I got the Philly app. I know what's going on. Right. Why the fuck do you care? They was, they was shooting down right. by the. Are you okay? Huh? It's a whole other side of the city, mom. I'm all right. Like, hey, damn. Why? I'm just typing so I can just be, just, I just be on pins and needles and walking all, all day. Yeah. Like why, mom? I love you, mom. Why? That like like I, today was the first day I watched the news in like years. I sat and watched the news. Just sat and watched the news. Depressing me out of my mind. Depressing to me, man. Yeah. I understand you can't you can't close your eyes to what's going on in the world, but that's depressing to me. Yeah, but it's not I don't I don't see this being informative though. No. I know what's no. going on. I know that dumb shit going on where I live at all the time. Yeah, but you gotta know exactly what happened on which okay. block. This person got, okay. this person died. This person died in a fire. Right. Like this person shot this person. This robbery happened that was caught on camera here. And then these per- these people got scammed out of money. They're losing their home. Oh, all this. Th- I don't know what I've done with this. I'm done. Yeah. I'm done. It's depressing. But. <laughs> yeah, what else? Did, what else did I say I want to talk about before we got up out uh, of here, man? Dame Dash 50 Cent. All right. Now. Everybody got the jokes because Dame false teeth fell out of his mouth. All right. Everybody yeah. been laughing and joking about that. Making laugh. Not, not me laughing and joking about that the last few days. He even joked on himself about it and all that. He had to, dog, because he could have just edited it out. He could have just took it out. Was he live when that happened? I think, no, I think he was on live when that oh, happened. Oh, okay. I'm about to say, because he could just took it out. I didn't, I didn't know if he was live or not. All right, So, guys. yeah, I understand what they. I would have took the fucking live down. <laughs> No, but that's not. No, I know you. Know what I mean, it is no, what man, it is. Nah, like, you gotta tell like that. Ain't, that's not what a man does. Right, right. It is what, you know what it I mean? is. A like, man does it run, and then I'm gonna take the live down right. just because that happened. You know right. what I mean? You know what I mean? I'm a man. You know what I mean, but yeah, but uh, 
yes, I understand what they're doing because that's how 50 is. 51 of them people that, yo, if I say something to you, you say something back, that's that's a free alley oop. Yeah. So that really, really that's what I think it is. Now I mean I think it's just the back and forth. Now I mean I said something. I think Dame said something about a long time ago though, dog. Yeah. A long and when you go to the interview where he said it, you understand why he said it. Yeah. When he was like, Yeah, a million dollars is not nothing to nobody. A million dollars is a lot of money, except if you Dame Dash. And when the, and then when they showed the interview when cause you know, like you said, motherfuckers went and pulled the interview out and put that shit up. And Dame was like, if you was a rapper, you get a million dollars. You got to pay tax on that. So now you're left with half. You're going to need to get a house, a car. He's working out all the shit that you're going to have to do with that. That's why he said that that's nothing. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. People act like with that million dollars, you put that million dollars up and you can just be like, I'm good now for the rest of my life. No, he was telling you that that's nothing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, like, I, I, you know what I mean? Yeah, I didn't understand that, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause yeah, yeah. So, you know, the internet took that and ran with yes, it. Yes, they did. And um, I think it is. I think it's good marketing. And you know, man, make sure y'all support Dame, <coughs> Dame Dash and what he doing. Facts. You know what I mean? I mean, make sure y'all support him. I understand that because I don't think is it's not as deep as people think it is. I think that was just 50 just throwing him out of you. He said something back. You know what I mean? Right. And you know, you know what I mean? So, so, so support both the brothers and what they doing. Right. So I don't think it's that deep. You know what I mean? It ain't really, it ain't, to me, it ain't really that deep to go all suit, to, to, get, to, to get all into like that. I understand everybody love 50 because 50 is successful and 50 is one of them dudes that everybody wanted to be. Everybody wanted to be a street dude. That became a rapper, a successful rapper, kind of right. like Jay, kind of like Jay Z, like. Right. You know what I mean? He was a person that was really out pissed. Like he's a person that was really out there, and really is now making money. You know what I mean? And, and living a life that most people want. So that's why people are the quick thing, to like side with him. The thing about it though is that the like I said this before a long time ago, the people that we like, we will make excuses for them because we like them. The people mm -hmm. that we don't like. We will always down them because we don't like them. Because mm -hmm. when Fifty Cent was filing for bankruptcy, it was people like you don't got you don't understand. See, that's what motherfuckers with money do. They do that because. But then when it's Dame, you know Dame broke. He broke. He right. don't got no money. True. The people that we like, we gonna make excuses for them because we like them. Right. You know what I'm saying. So you know what I mean. It is is what it is. And I think yeah. Dame Dame understand that. Like Dame have no money. Dame broke. Trust me. They ain't, they ain't got more money than most. Yeah. Trust me. You got people that ain't got no business calling somebody else broke, calling a man broke. Facts. You are right about that. Yeah. Cut it out, man. Fam, we sitting behind, motherfuckers sitting behind phones and computer screens. Like, man, he broke. You broke. Right. No, you're like, broke. What, what are you talking you're about? You're broke. You broke. You know what I like, mean? <laughs> His broke ain't the same as your broke. Because he can eat when he hungry. <laughs> I'm saying like he can eat when he hungry. Some of y'all motherfuckers can't eat when y'all hungry. Yo, be, you got people that can't eat when they hungry. Call somebody else broke. Trust me. Shit, I don't understand, like, that man ain't missing no meals. Right. I'm like, all right. I yo. guarantee you that man bills is getting paid. Right. He taking care of the people he got to take care of. <laughs> right. So all that. He's broke. No motherfucker, you're broke. <laughs> don't, broke. Don't, don't, get it, don't get it twisted and confused, bro. His broke and your broke is two different brokes. <laughs> your broke is... Your broke is you need next week's check. You know what I'm time. saying? Let them tell you your check going to be late. Your check is short. <laughs> <laughs> you got direct deposit. No, the jewel usually hit Wednesday night. Your whole life is messed up. See, you, you broke where... Life, you can't live life. You can't afford to live. <laughs> Facts. Oh my so god. So let's not let's not throw the word broke around like it's the same type of broke. Right. When he say broke, when they say broke and your broke is two different broke. Yes, bro. it is, man. Trust me, that that man is living good. Not 
Now, I mean, you see him doing videos. He on his own goddamn. He, he, he on his own. He got his land. Right. He got his businesses. Right. No, your broke is, motherfucker, what you going to eat today? Y'all motherfuckers, damn dash is broke. Then cut the damn camera off and go eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for dinner. But Dame is broke. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. Y'all better chill. Y'all better chill. Know what I mean? Oh, my God. Yo. Some of y'all need to chill. <clears throat> yeah, I don't understand that shit either, man. Yeah, I mean that's it's, yo, that's because it's the internet. Everybody just say whatever. Everybody, say he's whatever. broke. You're calling him broke, right? You calling him broke? I don't understand it, dog. I Cut don't. it out, man. I don't fan, understand it's, it at all. Fan, fan, it's, it's the internet, man. Yeah, I nice. say I can say what I want. I can be who I want on here. <laughs> I can be a gangster, tough guy. I can call people broke. <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh man. Nigga sitting there with a goddamn negative account balance calling somebody else broke. You owe the bank money. You owe the bank money. The bank letting you slide. Yo. You overdrafted. Wow. They they letting you slide though. Yo, I even try to talk about nobody, but I'm pretty sure you work with motherfuckers like that. Like, yeah. yo, they're broke coming out with yeah, gas. No, we just got paid. Listen. Yeah, but my overdraft fee's gonna eat that whole checkup. I mean, over what's up over there? <laughs> how you owe so much? The check on me going. That's how you, that shit be, yo. You down, you down HR trying to get him to give you a paper check. <laughs> Have he hit the deposit? They gonna snatch the whole job. Yo, that whole job gonna get took for child support. I'm trying like, I'm oh, trying like man. stop the direct deposit. Oh my god, yo. And some of y'all, man, I'm sorry that that's that's. That's how it is for life for some of y'all. Some of y'all, some of y'all finances is fucked up or called day and broke. But y'all still cashing y'all checks at a check cashing place. Oh, my because God. Because. Yo. The bank snatching that whole check. Snake, snatch, snatching half that joke if that joke go in. Yo. You there ain't y'all trying to get a paper check. They can't just write me a check. Oh, my goodness. No, they, you're on direct deposit. No, I'm trying to end a direct deposit. <laughs> Yeah, because you're like a thousand dollars. Yo, man, that's crazy, yo. Yeah, you right, man. It's, it's a funny world we live in. Funny fucking world. I just be looking at the comments like, these people was crazy, yo. Listen, they, they ain't broke. They ain't teeth fell out his mouth. I guarantee you, if they ain't wanted to buy some teeth, he could buy some teeth. <laughs> if, you, if you lose your shit, you done. You just gotta eat that. Yeah. You ain't got no teeth. I guarantee you, they ain't wanna go get some teeth. He can go get some teeth. Yo, you done. It's a wrap. You lose your shit. You just don't. You just ain't gonna have none. You're right. You, you, ain't, you, do, you ain't got no bread for no veneers. I'm just gonna deal with it like this. <laughs> no, nah, people who just they should just miss it. Oh my god. People yo. who just your jaw. Your front's missing. Oh, man. You, you got the hockey player shit. But your front teeth missing. Yo. Damn, the joints you need. These joints you see. Not the joint in the back where they don't see unless you laugh. Right. Not the side joints. You got motherfuckers who front teeth oh, missing. God, yo. That's crazy. You know what I mean? Cut it out, man. Cut it out. Can I call that man broke? Dave Dash is broke. Damn Come on, man. That man probably fucking what? What he probably paying expensive and bills is much is probably more than what most people making in the whole damn year. So he's broke though. Cut it out, man. This this is the internet. I say what I want. I do what I want. If I want right. to be a tough guy on here and act like I'm some type of gangster, I can do it. I cannot tough and be crazy. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't got to see that. I ain't got to see nobody. I ain't going to run into nobody. Where am I running to you at? I'm a regular everyday person. You just sitting all over the world and all that. So I can sit and talk crazy about you. I can sit here and make fun of you even though I ain't got no business saying nothing about nobody. That's the internet. Right. People can just do what they want. Be who they want. Right. You're right. Yeah. Got people sitting on here telling, 
Such and such was telling. Yeah. Have you ever been in any type of trouble? Have you ever been in anything that you are battle tested that you wouldn't tell? True. Please stop speaking on stuff that y'all not qualified on. True. That type of stuff is stuff they, is they reserved for people that are qualified for that. That have been battle tested. That really was really was outside doing that shit, man. You know what I mean? Right. Like you said, you got sidewalk people talking about street shit. That's why they made sidewalks. Yep. For the streets everybody not, not for everybody. The streets. streets not for everybody. That's why you have the sidewalk. Yeah. If your ass ain't supposed to be out in the street, say your ass on the sidewalk. Yep. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. That's why it's the damn sidewalk is there. Yep. Because when you walk on the street, what you got to do? Keep looking for the car. Make sure your ass don't get hit. Hell yeah. Get your ass on the sidewalk. Stay your ass on the side. We got people on the goddamn sidewalk yelling about people in the street talking about them. This person say to tell. I never do that. I never tell. Person who never been in nothing in their life to even be battle tested. Stop speaking on stuff that's not you're not qualified for. Right. That's why certain stuff on here we don't even talk about a touch. Not qualified to talk about some 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 of this stuff. Right. Some of the stuff that y'all people want me to talk about, I'm not qualified to talk about it. Yo, go get the yo, such and such. We put the paperwork out. You should get the paperwork and break that down. Who am I to do that? What am I doing that for? I'm not qualified to be doing all that. I feel you. Say that for the people that's qualified and go do that. That understand now that. Right. Now I'm no dummy. I can read and all that, but who, who, who am I to be talking about that? Why would I talk about that? That stuff don't really get no play over. The Knicks shit don't really get too much play over anyway. Right, right. Yeah, that's why I'll be sitting around with such and such, such and such, put the paperwork out for this and that. How come y'all don't talk about that? I'm not qualified to be doing all that. I don't feel like I'm qualified for that. I stay in my lane. So I'll tell y'all with no problem. When I was younger, I went out there in that street a little bit, for a little bit. And I took my ass back there. My, that was my choice to get my ass back on the <laughs> sidewalk. And I've been on the damn sidewalk ever since. I feel you. I told y'all that. I ain't saying act like I was the biggest person out in the goddamn world. I'm the biggest gangster in the world when I was young. You know what I mean? All some terrorists and all, you know what I mean? When I was younger. No, I went out there for a little bit, seen what it was, made my choice. I left it alone. Right. Took my ass, got my ass back on the sidewalk. And been on the sidewalk ever since. And I'm cool with that. So I'm not qualified for some of the stuff that y'all be wanting me to be on. Like, yo, I got the pay, I got a copy of the paperwork, such, such as paperwork right here. We gonna read it and do it on the show. Who wanna be doing all that? That's why I'm saying y'all be asking me to do something that stuff. I'll be like, I'm no. Yeah, that's why. No, I don't feel like I'm qualified to be doing that. Yeah. <clears throat> you know I mean, I wasn't. I was I was not out there that long to be. Speaking that much on it. Right. You speaking on it like, um, yeah, I did time up in this spot, and I did time in here, and I did this, and I'm, then I know this and that, and I went to court for this and that. I'm, yeah, I'm not qualified to be speaking on none of that. So how can I be talking about that with another man was going through? Like, I can, I was on that too. Like, I'm on some paperwork somewhere, or I'm doing something. No. Right. No. Right. No. Yeah. So that's it, man. I'm pretty much done with this one. I think we covered everything, man, that we wanted to talk about. Yeah, like I said, we did. man. Um, thank y'all for the love and support y'all been giving us. You know what I mean? And um just, just appreciate it, man. Just appreciate the views we getting. Appreciate y'all appreciate y'all rocking with us. So what I mean, you know what I mean? Y'all, y'all checking out, y'all, y'all, y'all checking out, whatever, whatever we do. Y'all give it a listen, you know what I mean? That's how I know that y'all rock with us. You know what I mean? Because we don't really do the guest thing on here too tough. 
You know what I mean? I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start interviewing some, I'm gonna start interviewing people. You know what I mean? I do plan on interviewing people. Like I said, um, the end of this month, Ebony should be home the end of this month. You know what I mean? So she said she ready to get back on and start making content. So, and then, you know, shout, shout out to Nikki too. You know what I mean? So I, I gotta get her back on here. So she could talk about her goddamn. <laughs> So you talk about her damn life, her life. She another person, her, her life is a movie. Um, and that's it, man. I just really, really got too much more to say on this, man. Um, yeah, before we go, we did I did check out some of I mean that 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 reminds me, the um Channel Sharp interview with Marlon Wayne's. Very, very insightful on what goes on in Hollywood behind the bit, I mean show business. Know what I mean? So if y'all have not checked it out. Go check it out, man. He breaking down a lot of stuff that happens in show business. Now, I mean, it was a very insightful interview, man. Yeah, now, now I mean, shout out to Marlon Wayne. Shout Mar Marlon Wayne is one of the people that was holding this down, like during the Wayne's brother days and all that. Yeah, he was one of them dudes. He's one of them like Martin, Will Smith dudes who he like represented the culture. He always like he always wore like the clothes that we wore, the sneakers. He always had like the urban brands. He was one of them type dudes, you know what I'm saying? The college shirts and all that. Now, now I mean back then, you know what I mean? He he kind of he one of the people that represented the, the 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 culture. Cause like the stuff that he had, like how him, Martin, no Martin, I mean only I mean Martin, some some of the times he wore some of the summer times he he had like the stuff that older dudes wore, but like Mar like really Marlon and back when Wilson, like when uh, Fresh Prince first came on, they was like wearing the stuff that was like the style in. Yeah. Like representing us, you know what I'm saying? So he's one of them dudes that really put on. He always had like the urban brands on too, you know what I mean? Representing. So now I mean, now, now I mean, he another one we gotta give some 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 pay homage and show respect to that he, that he always put on for his people. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know what I mean? Yeah, you're right. That that interview was insightful. They unveiled that the last season of In Living Color that they had no parts of it. I I guess I was too young. I, I was too young to even care about that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was just like, all right, it just but you just realized that it didn't feel the same. Like uh -huh. that shit crazy. You know what I mean? But yeah, you know I mean, so yeah, that was very insightful that they 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 unveiled that and the fact that they stuck with their brother when then when the when the, when, the, when the network tried to step in, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. yeah, he's like, watch that episode, that Christmas episode. We all in with the black sunglasses on because we protesting. I was like, damn, and then they showed the joint. And I was like, damn, that's crazy. They did. So yeah, his his family has a long Long, long standing in Hollywood. Yeah, you know I mean the Wayne's family have a long standing in Hollywood. So yeah, that trust me, man. Like you know what I'm saying, yeah, he he know what he's talking about. Keen Ivy Wayne's and them, Marlon Wayne's, Damon Wayne's, you know what I'm saying? Sean and uh what's their sister's name? Is it is it Anna and Kim? Kim, you're right. Kim, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So have a long, long standing in Hollywood, man. Shout out to them. But you know what I'm saying? Like he said, man, hopefully y'all appreciated this one. Yeah, matter of fact, I know y'all gonna appreciate this one, man. Uh, stay safe, man. You know what I mean? Stay safe out here. You know what I mean? Be mindful of what you're doing. Be mindful of the future. Man, we out of here, y'all. Peace.